Kate and her team flew to South America on intelligence that a local resistance force had obtained alien technology. There they met resistance leader Captain Maria Gonçalves and discovered she had a captured Dalek in her secure bunker. Kate was able to purchase the main body of the Dalek, but not the armaments which she originally believed was part of the deal. When the Dalek revealed that there were others of its kind in the surrounding jungle, Kate and Shindy took the Dalek creature to find the other Daleks, but the creature escaped. Returning empty-handed, Kate was taken prisoner and together with Osgood, discovered that Gonsalves was part of a worldwide auction house of alien technology and weapons. Having re-entered its casing, the Dalek killed Gonsalves and self-destructed, destroying the bunker. Having escaped the explosion, Kate and her team were then rescued by Unit North America. Audio. The Dalek Transaction. Noticing an irregularity in Unit's paperwork, Kate headed to Eildon House in Scotland, a research facility set up in her father's time but abandoned soon after. There she met Ben Donnelly, the caretaker, and his mother Alice. Kate's memories of visiting the house soon returned to her as well as the unsettling nature of the long gallery. Entering there again she had another encounter with the supposed grey man and was nearly frightened out of her wits. After recovering, Kate was joined by Osgood and Josh and discovered Alice had discovered a particular resonance in the house that induced fear in the humans. She had wanted to harness this resonance as a weapon before Kate's father stopped her. With an unknown alien presence drawing near, responding to a message Alice left years ago and hearing of mass outbreaks of terror in the capital, Kate and Osgood deciphered and completed the message, averting the crisis. Audio. Invocation. Kate observed Shindy's arrival in the Ardennes, via the hologram projector, and his discovery of a Santaran capsule. Suddenly, they were ambushed by a squad of Santarans and Kate lost contact with Shindy. Later when he and the Santarans returned to England, Kate and some unit troops met up with them outside the Torrance Research Foundation, having tracked them using the hologram projector. Allying themselves with the Santarans, units stormed the building and found Osgood held captive. They also uncovered a group of Santarans cloned by Professor John Torrance, who hoped to sell them off as warriors for hire in the worldwide auction. While shutting the operation down, Kate learned from Christine Colley about the mysterious head of the auction, the Overseer. Audio. The Santaran Project. Kate was worried when an experimental travel capsule, obtained from the auctioneers, suddenly vanished from Osgood's lab taking her and Josh with it. On their return, Kate was bemused by how familiar Josh and Osgood had become with each other. She soon realized this Osgood was in fact from a sideways dimension where UNIT was run by a fascist state. With the other Osgood on the run, while armed and dangerous, and the real Osgood returned, Kate was the only one to realize this, preventing Shindy from taking the real Osgood prisoner. Soon the other Osgood returned and attempted to escape again in the capsule. Kate and her team were saved when the capsule managed to disappear just before the dimensional gateway imploded. Kate then informed her team that Sam had more information on the auctioneers and they were to report to her office. Audio. False negative.